This year's graduation is like no other we have ever celebrated. While the world is afflicted by a deadly pandemic, we honor you as graduates. I am grateful to be able to celebrate with you today. You have accomplished a great deal in your time at Southwest Tech and under circumstances nobody predicted. The college has strived to be there for you every step of the way. How has the college responded to support you? Charger Cupboard Food Pantry went mobile thanks to a group effort, making deliveries of food to students' homes. Christina Hill, a student graduating today in culinary management, was instrumental in its success. Darnell, Darnell Wigman, along with a team of faculty and staff, called every single student to assess their needs. Krista Demo, a dental assistant faculty who made many calls, indicated how grateful she was to be able to reach out to students in all programs and help them be successful. Simply amazing. Every single course transitioned to online and virtual learning methods. Joe Randall and Kyle McCorkle did a fantastic job of helping students in our electrical power distribution program. They did a great work helping the students learn the necessary elements despite being at a distance. Tremendous teamwork by the faculty and staff and our information technology team to make this happen. Facilities crew has been amazing keeping campus clean and safe during this time. They have provided 24-7 coverage on campus. One of our evening custodians, Margie Billings, in addition to the great work she does keeping the building safe and clean, has handwritten cards and made personal phone calls to hundreds of people to make sure they are doing well. Thank you to the members of the Board of Directors for their work and leadership during this time. They have been responsive to the situation and our needs and compassionate in their desire to be part of the solution to the problems we face. The faculty and staff in the Knox Learning Center have continued to provide tutoring and support for literally hundreds of students. Heather Feifrick in Career Services is doing mock job interviews online to help you prepare for landing the perfect career. Folks in the Alternative Delivery Department have made tremendous efforts to move, to help faculty move courses online. Stephanie Brown, Dorn Mom, has worked tirelessly to make our on-campus housing into student homes with an emphasis on your health and well-being. We know many of you have financial needs and we are so grateful to Cora Halverson, Sarah Ball, and Margaret Chubb for their great work in financial aid. Mental health needs are at an all-time high during this crisis. Please know Gina Trollop, our full-time mental health counselor, has worked with students at no cost to the student to help them through their struggles. There are many, many others who have helped. To each of you, we say thank you. And to our graduates, we admire your tenacity, moxie, and courage. You have had to be flexible, patient, and resilient. You were determined to get here, and you made it. Navigating through college can be challenging enough, let alone during these unprecedented times. I am proud of each and every one of you. Some of you are on the front lines working in essential occupations, putting yourselves at risk in order to care for others, a truly noble pursuit. Thank you so much for your unselfish dedication to your profession and the care you have for others. Your work ethic and compassion inspire us. Others of you are sacrificing much to remain at home as much as necessary. While we are apart, we remain together in our commitment to staying healthy in order to keep the more vulnerable populations safe and well. Your sacrifices are saving lives. Please take this unique situation and build on it. Use it to make you better. In turn, use it to make your community and this world a better place. Be proud to be a charger and take pride wherever you go. Some of you are home today with loved ones sharing this moment. I will always remember the words of wisdom spoken at my own college graduation. The most important work you do will be within the walls of your own home. This quote has never rung more true as we are in our homes so much more than before. Please remember to thank your family and friends who have supported you to reach this tremendous accomplishment. And as you go forward, please remember how important it is to support the people you love. Very soon you will be out in the world putting your skills and character to the test. And I am confident you will shine and represent Southwest Tech with honor. Know that you will always be a charger and we will always be here for you. Congratulations, 2020 graduates. My name is Chuck Bolston. 
As the chairman of the board of directors at Southwest Wisconsin Technical College, I'm here to offer you our sincere congratulations. It certainly is fair to say that your last semester at Southwest Tech did not turn out as you had imagined. But I want to just focus on that thought for a minute. There always will be events in our lives that we have no control over. But the marker of success is how we can handle those events. I'm here to say, and your diploma is proof, that you were successful in overcoming really difficult situations. I hope that in your time of celebration, you look in the mirror and recognize your successful efforts to overcome the current challenges to reach this accomplishment. You put forth the extra effort you needed to make that happen. I think that recognizing that extra effort you made is important. As in life, no doubt, you will have to summon up the same level of effort and personal strength to deal with whatever challenges may come your way. I also hope that you recognize those who helped you make this day possible. I know that the current events are taking a toll on all of us. Your family and loved ones have also had to make changes in their lives and no doubt extra sacrifice to make this day possible. So maybe your celebration might not be the same as in most years, but it should be a celebration for sure. You give an extra effort to improve your future and the future of your families. And that certainly calls for celebration. And there certainly should be cake. The very best from our board to you. Hello, Southwest Tech, graduating class of 2020. My name is Katie Crow, and I'm 31 years old and graduating from the Medical Lab Technician Program. How fast this last semester came to a close, even with the extra chaos. I remember starting this education journey in 2017, concerned I would never get here. And yet here I am, and so, and you are too. Time goes by in a blink of an eye when we take charge of it and accomplish the goals we set for ourselves. Just five years ago, I was a military wife and a stay-at-home mom. I was also a high school dropout, a title that had always weighed me down and made me feel ashamed. My husband and I had started life a little differently than most. Our daughter was born when I was 16 and he was 18. He joined the military, we got married, and our daughter was followed by three sons. I would never change anything about the way our life de together developed, but we, re we realized after 12 years of living the military life, we were ready to move on. I realized that I could not hide behind motherhood anymore and that I needed to face the thing I had pushed off for 12 years out of fear of failing, going back to school. I had looked up information about Southwest Tech's GED programs on and off throughout the years, but never committed because of our chaotic life schedule. Our family moved back to Dodgeville for good in the summer of 2016, and we settled into living a civilian life. In January of 2017, I saw it fast track to the GED program in the paper. I signed up and then immediately regretted my decision. I thought, I'm too old to be finishing my GED. I am a mom of four. I am going to stick out like a sore thumb. I dreaded facing the first day and mentally prepared myself for the worst. The first day I walked into Southwest Tech was the day I realized the only thing holding me back was me. Breck and Christy in the GD program helped me get my GED and my HSCD in a total of six weeks. It took me only six weeks to accomplish something I had put off for 12 years. After conquering what felt like the biggest obstacle of my life, I wanted to dive into the next steps of my education. I knew I wanted to be in the medical field, but I was not sure where I fit. I investigated nursing and midwifery, but quickly realized they were not what I was looking for. Luckily, a career day came up in the midst of my search and I learned about the medical lab tech program, something I had no idea even existed. I worked with a staff member to arrange a preview. The spark of something that I had been looking for was there in the lab after Joan had shown me just a little of what medical lab techs do. I knew where I wanted to be after 30 minutes of being in the lab that day. Those 30 minutes seemed like a lifetime ago, and yet at the same time, only yesterday. I have learned just how easy accomplishing dreams can be once the first steps have been taken to achieve them. 
There is a fine line between being prepared and overthinking, but one leads to success while the other leads nowhere. It took me a long time, but I finally sort of figured it out. So I want to say thank you to my husband for providing me with a way to go to college and supporting me during the tough times. To my children for their patience when I was neck high in notes and books. To Breck, Christy, Joan, and Linda for showing me what I could be without ever doubting me. For being kind to me when I could not be kind to myself. Thank you to Southwest Tech because you gave me a start and a finish to my education and career dreams. Five years ago, I was a high school dropout. Today, I am a Southwest Tech graduate and a medical laboratory technician. My story may be unique, but my struggles are not. All of us at some point or another have thought, thought there is no way I can do this, but we proved ourselves wrong because we did it. Remember to remind yourself of the things you have accomplished the next time you doubt yourself. Congratulations to the class of 2020. Remember, starting something is the hardest part. Do not stand in the way of your own success. Stay home, stay healthy. We will get through this together. Hi everyone, my name is Cole Deichler and I am a 2020 graduate of Southwest Wisconsin Technical College's Agribusiness Science and Technology Agronomy Program. First of all, I hope everyone is doing well and staying safe during these crazy times. This is not at all what I was expecting for graduation. I am sure everyone else feels the same way. Nevertheless, we are here, we made it, and I am honored to share this message with you. I am from a family farm just outside of a little town in Iowa called Volga. It's really close to the town of El Cater. At the beginning of my senior year of high school, I was determined to go back to the farm and learn what it takes to operate the crop side of things and run the farming operation. One rainy day in October of my senior year, I decided to take a trip to Fenimore since we could not be combining corn just to look at the college. I was not expecting the trip to change my mind about my plans after high school. When I got to campus, I immediately liked how small it is. After meeting some of the instructors and seeing how dedicated they are to helping their students, I decided to change my plan and invest two years to earn an education in the industry I am passionate about. And I knew right away that Southwest Tech was the place for me. The opportunities to learn were endless. We went on lots of interesting trips and visited places that I never thought I would go. Over spring break my first year, the Professional Agriculture Students Club, or PAS Club, loaded up three vans and drove all the way to Loveland, Colorado for the National PAS Conference. It took a lot of convincing from our instructors to get us to go on the trip as it would take up our whole break, but along the way, we made many stops at places related to our areas of study and some just for fun, like sightseeing in the Rocky Mountains, which made the trip more than worth it. This was just one of the many amazing trips that I participated in, and these are the kinds of experiences that we will never forget. Even though everyone is apart right now, we are all together in the fact that we have the same goal to get an education about something we are passionate about and saw it through to the end. I know it was not easy, but school is not supposed to be easy. You had to be dedicated to bettering yourself, earning your education, and gaining everything you could from those experiences that you get in school that you would not get otherwise. That is why you are here graduating, because you are dedicated to your program and put in the time and effort to complete it. During these times, it is easy to lose focus and not want to finish school since everything in our world has been turned upside down. I will be the first to admit that when it was nice out, it was almost impossible to get me to sit down and write a paper or take an online quiz as I would much rather be in a tractor planting or getting the ground ready to plant. However, we made it so far and so close to the end that it was worth shutting the tractor off for a few hours a week to get this done. And I know that everyone here has had to make sacrifices in order to achieve their goal. This shows how dedicated all of you were to earning your diploma and finishing what you started and worked so hard for. We also need to appreciate all our teachers and faculty in the school who worked so hard to keep getting us the materials, education, and help we needed through these challenging times to be done with college. We could not have done it without their dedication to helping us. I truly wish that we could all be together to celebrate this amazing accomplishment that all the graduates achieved, but we will make the best of what we can. These last few months have been tough, 
but everyone here has shown that they have what it takes to get through it. And if you can do that, you can do just about anything you set your mind to. Congratulations, class of 2020. Welcome family, friends, guests, and especially graduates. When I was asked to write a speech for graduation day, I didn't know what to do and I didn't know what to say. I sat and I thought, how can I get my message across? With Corona in the air, it made us all feel kind of lost. Nobody wants to hear a long speech on Zoom. We thought we'd be graduating in a big, large room filled with family and friends wishing us well with good thoughts. How do we get here? Diploma in hand, but no graduation walk? We imagined a wonderful day. Oh, how we planned and planned. But the day has come, and here we stand. Dazed and confused by killer hornets and corona? We just want to graduate. We just want our diplomas. Encouraged by the world for being heroes on the front line. I don't know about you guys, but I just want to stop crying. Kids at home and homeschooling for fun. This is not a joke. Our journey has just begun. But let's show the world that the Hulk and Spider-Man can't compare to a new nurse with a stethoscope and a ponytail in her hair. A special thanks to the staff, our family and friends who helped along the way. Without your support, we couldn't have made it day to day. We wouldn't be here to take a bow. Thank you for all of your love and thanks for showing us how to be the very best versions of ourselves. We couldn't have made it without your encouragement and your help. As I close with this crazy poem, I hope you get a laugh or two. Congratulations to all the graduates. We are done. Students, we are through. Congratulations, graduates. Corona class to 2020. Hi, I'm Dalton Elms. This will be my third time graduating from Southwest Tech, this time with my associate's degree in business management. During my four years at Southwest Tech, I've met a lot of great people, including instructors, bosses, and coworkers who have mentored me, shared wisdom, and helped me grow tremendously. My education combined with my employment has allowed me to get the most out of both experiences. I grew up in Dodgeville, and graduated high school there in 2014. I was not sure what I wanted to do after high school, just like most people it seems like. So I decided to take a year off, work my high school job, save up money, enjoy the outdoors, and just kind of take it easy. By the following fall, I saved up some money and decided to come to Southwest Tech for welding. I graduated and started a job at Metz Welding the next week. It was exciting and terrifying to have what I thought was a real job. And it was rough in the beginning, not knowing the people or how things were done there. But I stuck with it, even though I was worried how things would turn out. There were some bad times that made me want to quit, but, I, but things kept getting better. These experiences were intimidating and scary, but I had to do them and they forced me to learn. I learned more skills, grew in confidence, and learned there was so much more to learn. I started going on portable jobs by myself and, started, and soon started using the manual mill and lathe. I enjoyed machining so much, I decided to come back to school for machining. I continued to work as a welder and machinist while going to school, and what really made the difference was when I could take a lesson from school and apply it to work the next day. This really got me excited because I could be working with my boss and say, Jason Robbins, the machining instructor, says we should try something like this on the lathe. And when that worked, and I, was a, and I was able to make a part in half the time, I knew going back to school was absolutely the right decision. Before I graduated from machining, I got my current job as a CNC machinist at Ring Brothers in Spring Green. I anticipated there would be some hard times, and there were, but I now know this was just getting used to a new setting. I was learning so much just in the first couple weeks, and I knew there was so much more to learn so I considered coming back to school for business management. I asked a lot of people what they thought. I asked my parents, my grandparents, my old boss, 
aunts, uncles, and family friends of ours. And every single one of them said it was a great idea. So with everyone on the same page, I decided to enroll. I worked my new job while going to school, and good thing they didn't fire me when I told them I was going back. I'm grateful that Ring Brothers was flexible and supported me in this goal. And just like machining, I was learning information in the classroom that I could relate to and apply at work the same week. For example, everything we went over in human resource management, I could connect to a real life example. So I could tell this was definitely something to pay attention to. Even though it was hard to still only work part time, it was the countless moments like these that assured me this was the right decision. Something else I appreciated about working and coming to school was how I could take a situation from work and bring it up to the instructors at school. These instructors not only have technical knowledge of what they teach, but they also have real life experience. This helped me see things in a different way or from a broader perspective. After four years of being at Southwest Tech, I met a lot of instructors and would visit them on occasion. These personal lessons are what I valued most from being at Southwest Tech. Over these years, many people have helped me. I would like to thank my family and all my instructors, including Tim Jacobson, Jason Robbins, Paul Bell, and Carol Nicholson. I want to thank Kevin Camus from Metz Welding, and I also want to specifically thank my parents. And I want to thank one more person. I want to thank myself. And graduates, I want you to thank yourselves too. Many of us forget to thank ourselves. In the end, we are the ones who showed up and earned what we are receiving today. We made it happen and we'll, we will need to continue to make it happen. Congratulations, graduates, on your incredible achievement. <laughs> hey, all you cool cats and kittens. <laughs> I'm Megan Hanold and I'm coming to you from my virtual nursing classroom, testing environment, study nook and cafeteria perhaps you're listening in on this because you are getting ready to wrap up your first year of nursing school which is major congratulations or you're getting ready to graduate which is also a huge accomplishment and congratulations to you uh, perhaps you are a southwest tech faculty member who has also been going through this difficult time or a family or friend member. Whatever the case may be, since I can't see you, there's really no need to pretend that you're naked. But hopefully we can all relate how awkward this feels and get through it together. Just pretend you are getting ready to walk across that stage at Southwest Tech with your white nursing uniform on and accept your nursing pin. And although we can't see each other, uh, we can live through the moment together. And regardless of what you're wearing at this moment right now or who you're with, I'm sure we all thought once or twice that this day may never come, even before the COVID-19 virus. But to my family, fellow classmates, we may be finishing the race from home but that doesn't make the situation any less praiseworthy. The hashtags, we're in this together and alone together, apply to us too. And because of our resilience and determination, and because our instructors worked diligently to make sure of it, here we are, wherever that may be. For some of you, this also meant taking on the role of educator for your children or learning what it truly means to be an essential worker. It has ultimately been a test to our mental health, our physical health, and our emotional stability. Before the spread of COVID-19, our stressors revolved around juggling exams, skills demonstrations, developing care plans, uh, early clinical hours, all while finding the time to study and missing out on friend and family get-togethers. The outbreak of the coronavirus certainly changed our outlook. It changed our study routine and it changed our learning styles as far as how to study. 
We quickly learned how frustrating a simulation learning system can be and regretted ever complaining about getting it up at 3 a.m. for clinical rounds. There were many days when I felt angry or unmotivated or pessimistic. But after all, the field of nursing requires us to be hands-on and around people every day. Forcing us to stay home has not only been a trial to our sanity, but also an adjustment to what we really thrive on, patient care, uh, physical endurance, and interpersonal skills. The coronavirus has often felt like a wrench was thrown into our plans, like starting an IV blindfolded, <laughs> or caring for a C. diff patient with a hole in her glove. No matter how hard you try though, there are always going to be times when things just don't go as planned, especially in nursing. But one of the greatest gifts that we can give ourselves right now, right here, wherever you are in this single, solitary, monumental moment in our life, is to decide without apology, to commit to your journey and not to the outcome. Remember to ease up on yourself. We are taught to have compassion and respect for our patients, but remember to have that compassion and respect for yourself too. And remember that we're human. We don't have all the answers and that is okay. We're allowed to say, I don't know, or let me get back to you. Even our instructors have had that sometimes <laughs> with some of our probing questions and that's okay. I continually remind myself that those critical thinking skills will come with time and experience. And those mistakes along the way only helped instill in us to never do it again. Like for me, when I gave my very first IM injection, I will never forget the amount of eyes staring at me and the beads of sweat running down my back. <sighs> but the irony of it all we are the heroes. The tragic circumstances that we've been in the past few months have also reminded us what we've been training and learning for for the past one and two years. How to respond to disasters, infection control, recognizing signs and symptoms of a respiratory infection, patient education, proper PPE donning and removing, what burnout might feel like, and the effects of disasters on an individual. As someone famous once said, where the needs of our world and our talents cross, there lies our vocation. So as awful as this situation is right now, this is our time. We know the road to being a nurse looks easy to anyone except a nursing student. So we're on a long and tough journey that is always setting us up for failure. And this last semester has been the ultimate test. But look at how it sculpted us, how it prepared us for the worst, and how we learned to transform our energy. Now, don't get me wrong, there were many emotional breakdowns. But even in the midst of this chaos, we stuck by each other's side. We gave each other pep talks, listened to when we needed to cry or vent, or helped each other through the changes in the schedule or an assignment. I'm sure that I couldn't have made it through the last few months without the help of my peers and classmates. There eventually came a point though during these last few months when I realized we can have one of two different outlooks. One, the nursing students of 2020 really drew the short straw. <laughs> our clinicals were cut short. We've missed out on time applying our skills and learning on the job experiences. We've been forced to do more work online and less collaboration. How are we ever going to differentiate ourselves and to our employers when we're learning from home? I fell into this category for a while because after all, it is much easier to complain than to deal with it. 
The other outlook though, the nursing students of 2020 have defined what it means to be resilient. The capacity to recover quickly from difficulties. Tell yourself that you are a warrior. I know there were many times when we all felt like we were never going to make it through this. Instead of referring to this time as a disadvantage, why not show everyone how awesome you are? We added more to our plates and we did it all while staying sane, <laughs> mostly, but definitely finishing strong. One day it will be a topic of conversation, just wait. People will say, that's the girl that <laughs> managed to finish nursing school during the coronavirus. But think about it though. We literally developed a disaster relief program for our lives. <laughs> how crazy, crazy does that sound? And we learned how to find time for everything and develop an independent worth ethic while adapting to change, while staying organized, using our resources, and appreciating how vital, effective communication is. Being able to adapt to an ever-changing environment is important in healthcare. And look at all that we've already overcome. What if we trusted that everything was unfolding exactly as it should? We should find comfort in knowing that everything we're experiencing is a transition and transformation period that is leading us to our bliss and our abundance. Maya Angelou has inspired me many times throughout my nursing school career. And one of my favorites, you may not control all the events that happen to you, but you can decide to not be reduced by them. And I think that's exactly what we've done. Pat yourself on the back and think about everything that you have overcome and don't ever sell yourself short. Heck, I have no idea, I had no idea how to take a proper blood pressure cuff reading before I started nursing school or even what that meant. But we've learned enough acronyms to make it a new language. We have learned how to live off of monster drinks and Pop-Tarts. How valuable a good pen is and the lengths that we will go to make sure that no one steals that pen. How to squeeze as much studying in a day as possible, even if that meant maybe posting post-it notes in the shower or listening to lecture on the way to class in the car. And we've learned how genius it was, and this is especially for all the nurse, the first year students, how genius it was to use our suitcases on wheels as the new form of book carrying. <laughs> You'll never look at a beta blocker again without singing, oh well, oh well, in your head, or relate, I pine for calcium, or the Sartan sisters as some of our hypertension friends. <sighs> By the end of our second year, we will have accomplished 25 classes, three HESIs, 18 math calculation tests, nearly 20 skills test outs, 60 journal entries, over 70 guided readings, over 80 exams, and countless mental breakdowns. But here we are. We were never afraid to speak up or give up. Collectively, we probably sent our instructors over 3,000 emails to verify an assignment or argue a nursing rationale. I'm sure the nursing instructors can attest that we were never afraid to ask questions or speak up. And I am beyond grateful to all of them for teaching us the skills that we needed, but also empowering us to be better than yesterday, to take chances, and to continue learning with an open mind. Just remember, every puny little thing that you've accomplished is a result of listening to your gut and taking action. Stay true to yourself. Listen to your intuition. It's scary to think that there will come a time when I will be responsible for someone else's health and safety. But I have to remember that every other nurse out there that started out the same as I did. Don't let them intimidate you 
Instead, use them as your resource while you continue to carve you, your, your unique attributes and enhance your skills. Remember, one of the very first things that we were taught in nursing school, that true grit is making a decision and standing by it, having the courage to push through obstacles and doing it with integrity. And tell yourself, we are not just the nursing class of 2020. We are the nursing class of 2020 during the coronavirus. Thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Abby Pickett. I am a second year liberal arts student. I serve as a student ambassador and also as the Southwest Tech Student Senate President. First off, I would just like to say congratulations to all of the spring 2020 graduates. You guys did it. I know that this graduation might not have been the ideal graduation you all have planned or hoped for, but I mean, how many people can say they attended their college graduation in their pajamas on their couch? Not very many. You all have received your diplomas with immense challenges though, and it has not been unrecognized. You are all amazing examples to the people still trying to achieve their goals at Southwest Tech. So on behalf of the Student Senate, we would just like to say congratulations and we are so excited to see what the future has in store for you. Dream big, set your goals high, work hard, never forget your roots, and remember, it is always okay to call home. Hi, this is Congressman Ron Kine. Listen, I wanted to take a moment to congratulate the graduating class of 2020. Job well done. I know this isn't the way you expected to end your school uh, this year. Taken out of the classroom, distance learning, uh, having to work with your teachers online, it's proven to be very challenging and very difficult for you students, parents, instructors uh, alike. But you've all risen to the occasion as best you can. So make sure you take a moment. Uh, to congratulate yourself and enjoy what you've just uh, accomplished. Uh, but in the meantime, you may be referred as the COVID class of 2020, but don't let this virus define you and who you are. Instead, pursue your dreams, your aspirations. Take advantage of the opportunities that this great nation still offers each and every one of you. Find a way to give back, to contribute to your community. At a time like this, we've got a pandemic at our doorstep. It's not hard to find people in need of help uh, and assistance. But even beyond that, as we emerge from the virus, your generation more than any other is gonna be asked to help us to repair our communities, to repair our state, our, our, our national government, and even the globe. And I'm confident that you'll be up to that challenge. So in the meantime, make sure you take a moment to celebrate your accomplishment with friends, with family, probably through some uh, virtual party in that, because uh, it's quite a, a, an accomplishment. So again, we're very, very proud of what you've done. Congratulations, class of 2020. We wish you nothing but the best and good luck in your future. Hello, my name is Katie Garrity. I'm the Chief Academic Officer here at Southwest Tech. I'd like to take this opportunity to congratulate the graduates of 2020. Despite these uncertain times, you've accomplished so much. You have persevered and we are proud of you. You represent the best of what we do. Develop professionals who will play a major role in our workforce. When we get back to work, you'll be ready. I'd like to extend my very best to each and every one of you and in the professions you will represent. Particularly, congratulations on your accomplishments. Thank you, graduates. Hi, I'm Derek Dachelet, Executive Dean of Industry, Trades, and Agriculture. To all the graduates from Southwest Tech for 2020, I want to wish you the best with your future. Congratulations on finishing your program despite these challenging times, and all our best wishes for you and your families as we go forward into a bright, bright future. Congratulations, Southwest Tech graduates of 2020. There's never been a more important time to complete this phase of your lifelong education and to go forth to serve our communities. As you graduate, please know we are proud of you and proud of the work you have done in achieving your goals. Congratulations. Hi, I'm Deb Ein, the Director of Agriculture. Congratulations, graduates, on earning your degrees. You did it. 
We are proud of all of your accomplishments and wish you the best of luck going forward with your career choices. To Southwest Tech's spring 2020 graduates, we are so proud of you. You are resilient, you have trained for this moment, and you are ready. Congratulations on this huge accomplishment, and we can't wait to continue to see the ways that you make us proud. Congratulations. The only guarantee for failure is to stop trying. Quoted by John Maxwell. Class of 2020, congratulations on your graduation. Never give up, never stop trying, and you're gonna go quite far in life. Congratulations graduates, and a special shout out to the electrical power distribution students. Oh, how high you've climbed. Good afternoon. I'd like to take this opportunity to congratulate all the Southwest Tech 2020 graduates and give a special shout out to the Building Trades Carpentry students and congratulate you on a job well done. I hope you can look back on your time at Southwest Tech as both worthwhile and unique. One that was wrought with challenges and but had many, many successes. I hope this graduation marks but one of many in a long list of future successes for each one of you. I would like to thank you for a memorable year and take care. Congratulations and best wishes for a bright future. May you remember the core abilities and practice them. They won't do you wrong. And remember, the tassel is worth the hassle. EPD students, it was quite the year. I hope you had as much fun as I did. Uh, I just wanted to take this time to say congrats and way to go. And uh, if, if you ever need anything, uh, feel, feel free to ask. Hello, I'm Aaron Halverson, IT instructor for Network Specialists. Just want to say congratulations. Graduates, not only did you graduate, but you also overcame what few have done in this extenuating circumstances during COVID-19. We are all very proud of you. Also, to my IT graduates, even though you're not here with me, I know you're behind all of these blinking lights. I can see you working. Proud of you. Congratulations, Emily, Kaya, Ashley H, Liz, Caitlin, Clarice, Honesty, Desiree, Rose, and Ashley W. It's been an honor to be your teacher. I'm so very happy for all of you. Congratulations to the class of 2020 Human Services students. Hello, it's Tanya and Chris in the MA program, and we're here to congratulate our 2020 graduates. Congratulations, Michelle Anderson, Alicia Bunsen, Brittany Bottomley, Amber Dobbs, Morgan Drury, Brittany Gill, Marissa Howry, Mary Honer, Kaylee Kruger, Maddie LaRock, Sam Lammers, Jamie LeJune, Cherie Malston, Cheyenne Morowski, Mercedes Rowe, Georgia Schwartzman, Haley Stappert, and Abby Safaker, and Tristan Sweat. Congratulations, MA graduates. Congratulations. Woo! To the Southwest Tech Class of 2020, congratulations from the Southwest Tech Financial Aid Office. To all of our graduates, congratulations on ending your degree. You had a challenging year, that is for sure. Best of luck in the future and don't forget to keep in touch. Congratulations, Southwest Tech Early Childhood Education students on your graduation. Thank you for your thoughtful planning and time invested in the lives of each and every child at Southwest Tech Child Care Center. As you graduate, I wish you all the best in your future. Again, congratulations, way to go. Congratulations, Southwest Tech graduating class of 2020 from the College Effectiveness Team. Good job. Good luck in your future endeavors. We are so proud of you. You got this. Keep in touch with your Southwest Tech family. Congratulations, graduates. We're extremely proud to be celebrating with you today. Now it's time to go and enjoy everything you've accomplished. Way to go, Chargers. Congratulations, graduates. I'm honored to have had the opportunity to work alongside you in the classroom. The class of 2020 will always hold a special place in my heart as we began this journey together at Southwest Tech. We learned together, laughed together, even debated together, but most importantly we accomplished many great things together. 
Now that your days at Southwest Tech are over, please stay in touch and never forget that I'm here for you whatever life throws your way. I wish you nothing but success in the future, and I know that you'll find just that. Congratulations, Charger graduates. It has been an honor and a privilege to serve each of you at Southwest Tech. Your grit and determination to get to today has been nothing short of inspiring, and I am so excited to see what the future holds for each of you. May your Southwest Tech pride shine brightly, not only today, but in the future as well. Congrats. Congratulations to all our graduates, especially those in the graphic and web design program. Um, I'm just so proud of each and every one of you and just want you to know that I wish you all the best. Congratulations. You've made it through heralding times and can now be called proud graduates of Southwest Tech. The work and sacrifice you've invested in earning your degree is an incredible step in making a better life for you and those you love. And thank you so much for choosing Southwest Tech to do that. It has been such an honor working with you on achieving that goal. And you've added so much to my life. Make sure you keep in touch. Hey, Southwest Tech graduates. I'm Cece Place, the Physical Therapist Assistant Program Director. And I want to congratulate all of you on your accomplishments here at Southwest Tech. We wish you well on your future career plans. And I'm Jackie Schultz Sloan, the PTA instructor. And I want to acknowledge all of our PTA graduates and commend you for your hard work over the last several years and the many challenges you've overcome to finally achieve this well-deserved goal of graduation. I wish you all the best on your future endeavors. I'd like to leave you with this. Chase your dreams, never stop trying, never stop learning, live your life to the fullest, and give it nothing but your best. Congratulations. Hi guys, congratulations on your special day. Too bad we can't be together, but I thought I'd just drop you a video, letting you know I'm thinking of you. Thought I'd take it on the golf course. But to make you feel better, I'd put the water and the hazard in the background, make you feel a little more at home. Congrats, do well, remember, once a charger, always a charger. So if you ever need anything, I'm always here for you. Be well, be safe with your families. Looking forward to see where you'll be in the next few years. Congrats. Thanks again. Hello, graduates. I'm sure this isn't the graduation day you had been anticipating, but you should all be very proud of the things that you have accomplished during your time here at Southwest Tech. I have had the honor and privilege of working with many of you, and I have seen firsthand the hard work dedication and sacrifices that you have had to make in order to further your education. And today, it all pays off. Everyone here at Southwest Tech are so proud of your accomplishments and we cannot wait to see what your future holds. Congratulations, class of 2020. Congratulations, Chargers. Following your dreams isn't easy, but you did it. You have so much to be proud of and we are so proud of you. My best of luck to you all and keep in touch. Congratulations, Southwest Tech RN nursing students. We are so proud of you. You've been faced with many challenges this semester, but I want you to remember, you rose to the challenge, you did it. You'll be able to face more challenges as a nurse because of how strong you have become during these challenging times. Again, congratulations, Southwest Tech nursing students. Congratulations to our May 2020 graduates. I'm so proud of you for completing your degree at Southwest Tech, especially with the challenges that came our way this spring semester. I wish you the best of luck in your professional and personal lives after graduating and hope that you stay connected and engaged with the college after graduation. Congratulations, 2020 Southwest Tech graduates. Never forget your communication skills are not only going to be what helps get you hired, but could also be what gets you fired. They're skills that are you can learn and constantly improve upon like everything else. Congratulations again. You guys have done an amazing feat and uh, I'm so proud of you and I cannot wait to interact with you out in the workforce in Southwest Wisconsin. Congratulations graduates. You have worked extremely hard and Every one of us at Southwest Tech is so proud of the work that you've done and the accomplishments that you've achieved. You have all the tools to make a positive impact in your communities. We wish you nothing but great success in everything that you do. Congratulations, Southwest Tech 2020 graduates. I wish you the best in your future. Congratulations. 
Congratulations, 2020 grads, you did it. I'm so excited for you and so excited to see what your future holds. I cannot wait to welcome you back as alumni of Southwest Tech. Hello, Southwest Tech graduates. It's Melissa from the Knox Learning Center. As Dr. Seuss would say, you're off to great places. Today is your day. Your mountain is waiting, so get on your way. Congratulations to all of our 2020 graduates. I am so SWTC proud of you. Best wishes on your next chapter. And remember, once a charger, always a charger. Congratulations. Congratulations, Southwest Tech graduates. Southwest Tech has provided you with the skills you need to be successful. It is now your time to be brave and conquer this world with tenacity, hope, and grace. This is a time for opportunity. You got this. Congratulations to the Southwest Tech class of 2020. I'm wishing you nothing but the best in your future. A really special shout out to the graduating graphic and web design students. I'm so very proud of each of you. I cannot wait to see all of the amazing things that you all will be creating. Congratulations. Congratulations to the graduating students of Southwest Tech um, and to my Egg Power students. Uh, congratulations and thank you for a great first year. Congratulations graduates. We are very proud of you and look forward to hearing about all you will accomplish with your degree. Please stay in touch with us. We love hearing from our graduates and finding out what you've been up to and don't be surprised if we invite you back to share your expertise with new students just starting their path to success. Again, congratulations and we wish you the best of luck. Congratulations to the class of 2020. It's been a pleasure to see you learn. It's been a pleasure to cheer you on the last three months, and I can't wait to see what you do in your future careers. Remember that Southwest Tech is always a second home and that you're always welcome to come back and visit. Congratulations to our Southwest Tech graduates from the Human Resources Department. Connie, Annetta, Megan, and I would like to wish you all the very best. We want to give a special shout out to all of our student employees. Congratulations and take care. Hello graduates and congratulations. I'm Dan, I work in the marketing office. I might have seen uh, quite a few of you around campus uh, and featured you on uh, some of our articles and uh, videos. Uh, I know it's been a long road, uh, but today is a time of celebration. I have on my Southwest Tech gear uh, sweatshirt back here in case it gets chilly. Uh, I wear it with pride uh, quite often, and I know uh, you're proud of your accomplishments, and you should be. Uh, take that out into the world, make the world a better place, and again, uh, congratulations on everything you've accomplished. Hi, everybody. This is Robin Hamill, the Student Life Coordinator at Southwest Tech. I wanted to tell all of our graduates, congratulations. Uh, you have done an amazing job. It's been a tough couple of months, um, but you have gotten through it and you have excelled and we are really, really proud of you. Um, you have bright futures ahead of you. And again, congratulations. Cherilium Allen, nursing associate degree, high honors. Hunter Alt, golf course management. Nicole Anist, Early Childhood Education, High Honors. Molly Anderson, Physical Therapist Assistant, High Honors. Ethan Anderson, Auto Collision Repair and Refinish Technician, High Honors. Michelle Anderson, Medical Assistant, High Honors. Zachary Anderson, Welding. Mallory Ball, Physical Therapist Assistant, High Honors. Emily Barron, Human Services Associate. Terrence Bell, Criminal Justice Studies. Alicia Benson, Medical Assistant. Taylor Berg, Medical Coding Specialist. Elizabeth Bess, Business Management, High Honors. Morgan Biva, Agribiz Science and Technology, Animal Science, High Honors. Tiffany Bingham, Nursing Associate Degree, High Honors. Raven Binkley, Cancer Information Management, High Honors. Teresa Blake, Health Information Technology. Vincent Blom, Criminal Justice Studies. 
David Brandemule, CNC Machine Operator Programmer, High Honors. Brett Brewer, Accounting. Daniel Brockway, Criminal Justice Studies, High Honors. Emily Brogley, Nursing, Associate Degree. David Bratzman, Agriculture Power and Equipment Technician. Tanya Brown, Nursing Associate Degree, High Honors. Jan Bucci, Nursing Associate Degree. Michael Buchan, Criminal Justice Studies. Brandy Cabrera, Physical Therapist Assistant, High Honors. Alyssa Campbell, Accounting. April Campbell, Medical Coding Specialist, High Honors. Megan Campbell, Liberal Arts, Associate of Arts. Amanda Carnes, Nursing Associate Degree. Phoebe Kristen, Farm Operations and Management, Dairy. Ina Clark Bates, Cancer Information Management, High Honors. Michael Clift, IT Computer Support Technician. Jeffrey Cobb, Business Management, High Honors. Laura Cornwall, Agribiz Science and Technology, Animal Science, High Honors. Mackenzie Croft, Nursing Associate Degree. Daisy Kunzenheim, Nursing Associate Degree, High Honors. William Davis, Automotive Technician. Cole Ditchler, Agribiz Science and Technology, Agronomy. Sarah Diaz, Health Information Technology. Grant Digman, IT Network Specialist, High Honors. Morgan Drury, Medical Assistant. Rachel Dugan, Cancer Information Management. McKenna Dyke, Cancer Information Management, High Honors. Carrie Edge, Nursing Associate Degree, High Honors. Derek Earhart, Electrical Power Distribution, High Honors. Justin Earhart, Agribiz Science and Technology, Agronomy, High Honors. Brittany Erin Natu, Medical Laboratory Technician. Benjamin Fetketter, Instrument and Controls Technology. Kimberly Fields, Nursing Associate Degree. Vicki Flynn, Accounting, High Honors. Kaylee Foley, Graphic and Web Design, High Honors. Allison Forbes, Early Childhood Education. Karen Forsyth, Accounting, High Honors. Vincent Forsyth, Golf Course Management. Jenna Friesen, Nursing Associate Degree. Cora Fritz, Laboratory Science Technician. Madison Gallagher, Business Management, High Honors. Brittany Gill, Medical Assistant. Heather Gintoft, Nursing Associate Degree, High Honors. Ian Gall, Agribiz Science and Technology, Agronomy. Natalie Gondek, Nursing Associate Degree. Joshua Greaves, Welding. Christina Gwynn, Health Information Technology, High Honors. Jessica Hahn, Health Information Technology. Allie Halverson, Agribiz Science and Technology, Animal Science. Megan Hanold, Nursing Associate Degree, High Honors. Bree Harker, Health Information Technology. Robert Hawk, Medical Laboratory Technician. Aaron Hemmer, IT Network Specialist, High Honors. Daniel Herbers, Business Management, High Honors. Kylie Jo Hewitt, Agribiz Science and Technology, Animal Science, High Honors. Christina Hill, Culinary Management. Matthew Hill, Liberal Arts, Associate of Arts. Gavin Hintz, Agriculture, Power and Equipment Technician, High Honors. Kaya Hosley, Human Services Associate. Ashley Holman, Human Services Associate, High Honors. Gabrielle Holtzman, 
nursing associate degree, high honors. Mary Honor, medical assistant, high honors. Cody Horsfall, electrical power distribution, high honors. Nicholas Hauk, criminal justice studies, high honors. Terry Rubes, electrical power distribution, high honors. Jenna Engelvison, physical therapist assistant, high honors. Micah Jacobs, culinary management. Walter Mitchell James III, supply chain management. Noah Jasper, electrical power distribution, high honors. Brenda Jensen, business management. Lucas Johnson, electrical power distribution, high honors. Michelle Johnston, health information technology, high honors. Julia Jones, Agribiz Science and Technology, Animal Science. Megan Joyce, Nursing, Associate Degree. Todd Casper, Electrical Power Distribution, High Honors. Sarah Kearns, Agribiz Science and Technology, Animal Science, High Honors. Jean Keller, Child Care Services. Brandy Kent, Agribiz Science and Technology, Ag Biz Management. Levi Kinshi, Farm Operations and Management, Dairy. Ashley Kirchner, Accounting, High Honors. Chelsea Keitlinger, Medical Coding Specialist. Lindsay Klein, Physical Therapist Assistant, High Honors. Alexis Klingeman, Laboratory Science Technician. Madeline Korb, Graphic and Web Design. Chase Kovars, Building Trades, Carpentry, High Honors. Katie Krell, Medical Lab Technician, High Honors. Haley Kruger, Medical Assistant, High Honors. Brittany Cruiser, Physical Therapist Assistant, High Honors. Cole Kuntferman, Supply Chain Management, High Honors. Madeline LaRocque, Medical Assistant. Sarah Lackey, Health Information Technology. Samantha Lammers, Medical Assistant, High Honors. Carissa Lease, Physical Therapist Assistant. Jamie Lee Lejeune, Medical Assistant, High Honors. Cassidy Leonard, Nursing Associate Degree, High Honors. Jamie Lex, Cancer Information Management, High Honors. Ashley Lindner, Business Management. Mason Lull, Building Trades Carpentry, High Honors. Sherry Malston, Medical Assistant, High Honors. Brianna Maddy, Health Information Technology. Sandin McClurg, Health Electrical Power Distribution, High Honors. Valencia McDade, Health Information Technology. Angie McDermott, Nursing Associate Degree, High Honors. Melissa McHugh, Medical Coding Specialist, High Honors. Abraham Meyer, Electrical Power Distribution, High Honors. Noah Metz, Accounting, High Honors. Lori Meyer, Early Childhood Education. Elizabeth Mezra, Human Services Associate. Taylor Machak, Nursing Associate Degree. Tyler Millen, Electrical Me Mechanical Technology. Jacob Mullers, Auto Collision Repair and Refinish Technician, High Honors. Bryce Moore, IT Network Specialist, High Honors. Megan Molitor, Culinary Management, High Honors. Jessica Moore, Business Management, High Honors. Nancy Morales, Cancer Information Management, High Honors. Tyler Moss, Welding. Cheyenne Morawski, Medical Assistant, High Honors. Cole Needham, Business Management, High Honors. Jacob Nice, High Honors. Hazen Newton, Nursing Associate Degree, High Honors. Dalton Nons, 
Business Management, High Honors. Tyler O'Brien, Automotive Technician. Jeffrey Oakey, Criminal Justice Studies, High Honors. Alan Olson, Business Management, High Honors. Ashley Olson, Nursing Associate Degree. Emily Olson, Child Care Services, High Honors. Caitlin Olson, Human Services Associate. Allison Oswald, Business Management, High Honors. Emily Page, Health Information Technology, High Honors. Keith Pardon, Welding, High Honors. Henry Paulson, Agribiz Science and Technology, Animal Science, High Honors. Annie Peterson, Early Childhood Education. Madsen Fab, Early Childhood Education, High Honors. Leah Flughoff, Health Information Technology. Wendy Pinter, Direct Entry Midwife. Silphise Pubian, Cancer Information Management. Chelsea Pubblemacher, Nursing Associate Degree. Gabriela Ramirez, Agribiz Science and Technology, Agbiz Management. Taryn Renkin, Graphic and Web Design, High Honors. Raven Ryder, Physical Therapist Assistant, High Honors. Mary Jo Reynolds, Cancer Information Management, High Honors. Clarice Reinecker, Human Services Associate, High Honors. Martha Roberts, Cancer Information Management, High Honors. Jessica Robinson, Physical Therapy Ass Therapist Assistant. Arlena Rowe, Leadership Development, High Honors. Stacy Rowan, Business Management, High Honors. Wendy Roman, Nursing Associate Degree, High Honors. Logan Ruland, Welding, High Honors. Honesty Rundy, Human Services Associate, High Honors. Alex Russell, Criminal Justice Studies. Desiree Rines, Human Services Associate, High Honors. Amy Salzberg, Medical Laboratory Technician. Tiana Salzgeber, Nursing Associate Degree. Matthew Sander, Laboratory Science Technician. Summer Shimmerhorn, Graphic and Web Design. Rose Schmidt, Human Services Associate. Anna Schmitz, Early Childhood Education, High Honors. Austin Schmitz, Automotive Technician, High Honors. Martina Schultz, Agribiz Science and Technology, Animal Science, High Honors. Georgia Schwartzman, Medical Assistant, High Honors. John Schweitzer, Welding. Barbara Scott, Nursing Associate Degree, High Honors. Paige Severson, Early Childhood Education, High Honors. Hilary Schumach, Nursing Associate Degree. Grant Smith, Electrical Power Distribution, High Honors. Caden Splinter, Electrical Power Distribution, High Honors. Marcus Stalsberg, Ag, Ag Power and Equipment Technician, High Honors. Haley Stafford, Medical Assistant. Samantha Steiger, AgBiz Science and Technology, Animal Science. Allison Stein, Medical Coding Specialist, High Honors. Kenneth Stevenson, Medical Coding Specialist. Marie Stimkin, Stimson, Culinary Arts, High Honors. Bryce Stone, Electrical Power Distribution, High Honors. Sam Streif. Jamie Sue, Agriculture po Ag Power and Equipment Technician, High Honors. Mitchell Sutter, Supervisory Management. Amanda Sutton, Business Management. Samantha Swanson, Business Management. Brianna Thompson, Medical Coding Specialist. Shanda Trum, Supply Chain Management, High Honors. Cammie Turner, 
Health Information Technology, high honors. Alexander Udelhoven, Criminal Justice Studies. Maxwell Udelhoven, Ag Biz Science and Technology, Animal Science, high honors. Jonah Ubihan, Liberal Arts, Associate of Arts. Miranda Updike, Health Information Technology. Samantha Vamstad, Physical Therapist Assistant, high honors. Kennedy Wagner, Accounting Assistant, High Honors. Jaron Walrock, CNC Machine Operator, Programmer. Hil Hilary Wedig, Nursing Associate Degree, High Honors. Nathan Wedig, Business Management. Brendan Werner, IT Network Specialist, High Honors. Danielle Whipple, Nursing Associate Degree. Sarah Whitmore, Direct Entry Bidwife, High Honors. Andrea Wilson, Early Childhood Education. Casey Winters, Health Information Technology, High Honors. Lori Young, Medical Coding Specialist, High Honors. Kayla Zenz, Nursing Associate Degree. By the authority vested in me as the chairperson of the Southwest Wisconsin Technical College District Board, I hereby approve and confer the diplomas you have earned.